WWE marked a historic day in King Abdullah Stadium in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia as the greatest Royal Rumble special, a first for the WWE programming in the region, took place. I'm so, so happy. I'm so glad that I finally made it here in the Jeddah for the absolutely amazing pay-per-view here. The first ever pay-per-view in the Middle East. You guys should be lucky for this. It's an amazing thing. I appreciate being here. This also marks a first WWE event having women attend, allowing all family members to enjoy the WWE Universe together for the biggest Royal Rumble match in history. It's a big feeling for me because it's the 50 man Royal Rumble. Another plus is that we get to be here with family, which is a great, great, uh, great opportunity for us to spend some time together. And uh, honestly, it's, uh, I, I feel it's a great movement towards the Vision 2030 and it's uh, just a great thing and it's a great time to be here, to be honest. It's amazing actually. It's very exciting because this is the first time it happens in Saudi Arabia. And uh, as he said, we are coming as a family and this is rare here. It never actually happened. This is the first time. It's amazing, they love uh, WWE, and uh, we're happy here. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia proudly invites the world to witness... The card was fully stacked with a ladder, casket, and cage match. All in attendance were split on whom they wanted to reign supreme in their bouts and in the 50-man rumble match. Uh, Seth Rollins. It had all my favorite superstars in the ring. Dean Ambrose. Uh, John Cena. Roman Reigns. Yeah? Yes. Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins. Of this show, John Cena. Uh, Roman Reigns. Kalisto. That's a hard question. <laughs> uh, you can say Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, of course. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. John Cena. The WWE special was a success, drawing 60,000 fans in attendance. For Arab News, Hassam Al-Mayman, Jeddah.